The next special topic discusses the past, present, and future applications of 3D printing, a very hot topic in plastic surgery. While it was technically developed in the early 1980s, lower costs of printers and materials have made 3D printing a much more of a reality, both in the homes and in the operating rooms in the last eight to 10 years. Medical 3D printing is defined as the manufacture of dimensionally accurate physical models of human anatomy that are derived from medical image data. And really all this has done is put this to use to develop accurate pre-operative planning in craniofacial or maxillofacial, spinal, and cardiovascular surgery. 3D medical printing is still in its infancy, however. These authors believe that the future of this unique tool will allow for a much lower cost solution for scaffolds for potential soft tissue reconstruction and to develop lifelike models and prostheses, including breast implants, tailored to the patients and eventually to allow them to see what the result is before it's actually done. But I think where it's going to help everybody in plastic surgery is that with the advent of being much more cost effective, you'll be able to do 3D printing models to show a patient what they look like now and what they can look like after reconstruction or after cosmetic surgery. So that I can take someone and show him or her his 3D nose before surgery and what it can look like after a rhinoplasty. So this should actually allow you to have much better patient outcomes because you'll be able to see what's possible and what's not. If you want the best of the best in peer-reviewed literature, please tune in to the Journal of Plastic and Reconstructive Surgery. Visit prsjournal.com. And if you're interested in plastic and reconstructive surgery, please visit plasticsurgery.org to find the best board-certified plastic surgeon in your area.